Good evening, my ducks. How are we doing today? I hope everybody is having or has had, by the time we watch this, a fantastic weekend. Um, it's been a it's been a, a fun weekend. I've really enjoyed it and been out for the day today. Just had a great uh, tarot play day over on uh, Jen's Balance Tarot, where we just looked at the lovers card. Um, and yeah. I did a, a later than usual cup of ketchup and carbs last night. And in that, I mentioned that I'd got the the new edition of the Lunar Soul Tarot uh, by Liminal Eleven. So the creators are Darren Schill and Mike, and now let me say this right, Medaglia. Mike Medaglia. Um, and this is a deck that... I have loved for the last three years. So this is my original copy. The box is a little bit battered. It's a well-used and well-loved deck. I did modify this version. I can remember this was the first time I saw The Modern Witch as well, a year before it, it came out. Um, this is the little book that you get with it. I'd imagine now, having received quite a few Liminal Eleven decks, and they've gone to this style, this hard, and it's amazing, this, this packaging, this um, hard shell box with the magnetic closure at the bottom. They tend to have those hardback um, books, like the little, as I said, little ladybird books that we got as, as kids. But this was the little white book that it came with and the two advertisement cards. Um, now, the borders weren't obtrusive on, on this. Um, there was just little white borders all the way around. And, you know, it doesn't make these cards mini. In fact, if I get it against a standard RWS, they are smaller, but not that much smaller, really. So they're a nice size, probably like um, a Llewellyn or Los Garabeo size. Um, but I love this. I love the colour palette. These lovely pastel colours. Um, there is um, rich diversity in the deck. There's lots of different uh, body sizes. There's different ages, there's different skin tones. Um, it feels quite queer friendly as well. Um, and particularly like having the hanged one um, and the person represented in the hanged one is quite, uh, you know, it's, it's quite, they're, they're quite androgynous looking. So it's left to interpretation really. But yeah, it's, it's a great deck, a really, really great deck. When it's shuffled, this is in order. <laughs> When it's shuffled and the colours, I've used three primary colours, pink, yellow and green. Um, and I just think it complements it really well with the colours that are in here. Um, so yeah, so I thought we could have a look at what the Lunar Soul, uh, this edition, looks like. So the packaging is completely different, different pictures as well. It looks like this one is going to be borderless, which negates the need to... Um, to trim, I don't know if it's laminated, laminated, uh, gilded or, or anything. I would imagine it wouldn't be for this edition because Limon 11 tend to do a standard release and then you can get a kind of like a deluxe version of their decks as well. Um, so yeah, it retails at, in the UK, 21.99, US 24.95 and Canada 37.50. Um, and I, I'm loving the packaging. Here's our hermit on the side. And the great thing about Limon 11 using this same box design is that they stack beautifully on the shelf and you can have your Limon 11 decks together. The Modern Witch is like this, the Cosmic Slumber Tarot um, and the, the new chapter, etc. come in this um, box design. So I'll stop rabbiting and we will... We will go in, if I can get in through this little fold. There we go. I don't think it says second edition or anything. It says light at the crossroads, Liminal 11, the Lunar Soul Tarot. 
Um, yeah, so it doesn't say that it's second edition. Uh, on the back, it says an uplifting healing tarot deck that reflects our beautifully diverse world. The Lunar Soul Tarot is designed to uplift and heal with a soft colour palette that gently warms the heart. This deck will wrap your intuition in a positive embrace. I love that. Uh, complete 78 card tarot deck with instru uh, instructional booklet plus two exclusive bonus cards. Woohoo, we all like some bonus cards. We have temperance on this side. So the magnetic closer is at the bottom and it says, it's a poor sort of memory that only works backwards. <laughs> Lewis Carroll, love that little touch. It's a poor sort of memory that only works backwards. And then we have this inner sleeve. It's beautiful. Can you see on the inside? It's really, really beautiful. Nice magnetic box. So when you pick them up, because on the, my Modern Witch, it didn't have this magnetic closure. So when you picked it up, the inner sleeve uh, slid out. But look at this. Here's our Death card. Oh, this is beautiful. The World card. I love how she's holding the sun and the moon. I'm saying it like it's the first time I've seen it. I know this deck so well um, that, you know, this isn't really a first impressions because I kind of know what to expect. So there's a little bit of extra packaging in there. The cards, sorry for knocking, the cards feel different. They feel more matte. Whereas this, this version is quite shiny. It's not got a thick lamination, but this is certainly more matte and they are still bordered actually so they're not borderless the pictures on the back of the box uh kind of look like they were borderless but they're not as you can see so let's take the sleeve off somebody mentioned in a chat last night that they thought the deck might be thicker as well but i'm not actually sure if that's the case it might just because it's gone oh oh it is <laughs> look at that it is thicker as you can see quite a quite a sizable difference really so yeah it is thicker so if we have a look at our fall oh yes oh these are beautiful these are lovely matte finish these are nice uh, but they are shiny uh, but you can even see that they're bigger because the the size increases even on the design on the back. And the picture on the front is actually the same though. Can you see here? You can actually line up exactly. So the picture on the front hasn't increased, but because the backs are borderless, they've had to increase the design on the back, but the pictures are the same. So that so one is glossy, um, and the other is this lovely matte. So they're not gilded in this edition. So um, if you wanted to trim, you could still trim. But as I say, these borders aren't that um, intrusive. The size now in comparison with a US Games is probably about this. Yeah, I, it's exactly the same size as a standard US Games um, tarot set. Okay, so there is no point doing a side by side because um, the images are the same. The only difference is the cardstock is thicker, it's matte, um, but there's no difference in saturation of color or anything like that. So let's pop, let's pop these away. let's have a close-up of the cards and let you have a look at them okay so here we go it's such a beautiful beautiful deck I mean look at even the design in the Sun here is, is really gorgeous I love the little crocodile that's peering over the edge of the cliff is that one step little dog 
Yeah, but is that the club? Uh oh. <laughs> These feel lovely. I bet they're amazing to shuffle. Really nice cardstock. Our magician. I love the design and the numbers as well. Now, the, it's not a case where each suit has a different colour. The colours just change uh, intermittently. It's it's not um, you know it's not like all of the pentacles are green and the cups are blue or anything like that. I love this high priestess. Now, interestingly, this does follow um, quite closely, really. Although there's some kind of uh, artistic license used and things, but it does follow a RWS system however unless it's been changed in this one in the first deck strength is at 11 and justice is at 8 which i thought was really interesting because this is quite close to um, the rws as i mentioned i love these pillars it's like the the um the logo for liminal 11 with a little camel there resting yin and yang in the book it is a beautiful empress isn't this an amazing card really gorgeous just look at these palettes and the, the line work is so fine you know it's really beautiful clear crisp images well how did how was it described a color palette to warm warm the soul the Emperor. Look how the Emperor has this kind of earthy, these mountains. It's interesting that there's little symbols as well that, that uh, are associated with the title. Here's our Hierophant. I love this Hierophant. Wow. And you really can spend an inordinate amount of time just really um, looking in detail that what's captured in these cards. I mean, I think this is the first time I've noticed the elephant trunk here. The elephant trunk and the tusks. I don't know if I've noticed that before. I love like the little, the design here, the sun and the clouds and the moon. This is what we've just studied in uh, Tarot Playdate this week. Now, of course, I, I can see everything. The Tree of Knowledge and the Tree of Life. I love the connection that's going up. You know, the angel connects, uh, connects, connects. <laughs> Still can't say it. The angel connects the, uh, the humans with the divine. Um, but there's shadows as well, and they can be within the shadows. But you really got that polarity there as well. But I love the, the animal um, representation in, in this deck as well. Here's our chariot card. Which is beautiful. Gorgeous colours. I keep saying that. These sphinxes look. Justice. So yeah, justice is eight. The hermit. Look at the little turtle. <laughs> I love that turtle. I love that the, the light is coming from within as well. You know, we often see it coming from the lamp, which there is some light, but actually the hermit represents that that's within. And shining your light, which is just beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, I suppose it's like a teal color, but it's really, oh, it's such a gorgeous deck. Wheel of Fortune. Pink Anubis there. 
it's rich in symbolism as well. Strength. I do I do wish there was maybe it said those two alternate uh, two extra cards. I wonder I wonder should I cheat and go to the end and have a look? No, it's not. It's different cards altogether. I wondered if they might have given us the option for having a strength at eight. It's not a biggie. Look at this. They've connected a lot with this kind of floral wreath. There's a garland. Really beautiful. The hanged one. Look at the bat. I love this death card. <laughs> really love it. Temperance. I don't think I'm going to trim this version. Having one trimmed, um, I don't think I need to do it with this. Will I edge it? I'm not sure if I'll edge it with having white borders, but it's kind of nicer to have this in its fullness, in its entirety, really. And I am kind of changing my opinion. I mean, if a deck comes borderless, great, but if a deck comes with borders, I'm actually kind of digging it, particularly if there aren't any copyright. I'll be doing a video in the next week or so on modifying a deck that has a obnoxious copyright and it is stopping me from, my eyes are being drawn to it, so I am gonna modify that. Look at this, look at this card, isn't it rich? I love the purples in this card and all the different kind of uh, shades of purple. We have the star, our traditional star card. I've always found the moon in this deck quite interesting. I love how the the uh, the crustacean, the crayfish, is really kind of front and centre in the foreground. But I find the melancholy kind of expression in the moon quite interesting. I love this little portal, this little doorway beyond the mountains. We get this moon cycles here. I love it. It's really interesting. Interesting that they've got black borders on it as well. Not borders, but banners, I suppose. Got a unicorn in the sun card. Oh, oops, what did I do there? Um, I love this sun. Here we have our judgment. Many hands, almost like a Hindu deity. And look at the many eyes as well. But the duality in that as well, we've got the night sky with the moon and stars, then we've got a sunrise or sunset here and this beautiful rainbow. And this little coffin, this casket of a, of a dog. And is it a dog or a cat? I think it's a dog. The world. All right, so let's go through um, the miners. I'll probably do less talking now. <laughs> and I can always link my walkthrough below of the Lunar Soul from three years ago, from 2018, if I remember. Just look at how beautiful how beautiful this is i love how faint the moon is in the sky there you know those clear days we went for a walk yesterday morning i went for a walk with a friend 
and the sun was up, we could still see the moon in the sky and it looked, it looked beautiful. I love to see the moon in the daytime. Because of course, it's always there. So I think anybody who is picking up this deck that has been used to um, working with an RWS will have no problem, no problem reading with it at all. Oops, picking up two there. I love that this is a bow and arrow. The intention is there, isn't it? Wow. And you really see the expression here of that burden carrying this weight. The colour goes a lot darker, but it's so rich. Look how rich that colour is. Page. Look at the detail. Stunning. Right. Oh, there's McQueen. comes after the king. That's interesting. Ace of Cups. I'm really pleased that this deck is available again as well because it didn't seem, I mentioned this in my live yesterday, it didn't seem like this deck was out for long the first time round. I was lucky enough to, to get one. Um, and yeah, before before we knew it, it was it was out of print very quickly. So for it to be available again now, and it has the the enhancements. I think that's the best way to describe it that has happened. You know, are literally that this is it's the same artwork. Nothing's been changed, but the the card stock is dreamy and this matte finish is is gorgeous so it's definitely been improved not that there's anything wrong with it, the first one look at the colors in this i love this purple mountain range and sky i like the how the moon is the same it's consistent through the whole deck with these craters showing and everything Swords. That's an interesting two of swords, isn't it? The three. Look how beautiful that the detailing is in that heart. It's been totally shattered, totally torn apart by these swords with the raindrops in the background. It almost with the kind of shading darker to lighter almost makes the images feel 3D. I don't know if anybody else is picking that up. Particularly on the darker background cards. And more so on this matte finish. Always love this Six of Swords. You know, when you think of the Six of Swords traditionally in RWS, it's somebody going from one shore to another. 
um, but it's quite a perilous journey. You've got the rough, the rough waters that they're going through, but you know you can see that on the other side the waters are calmer. I love how this person is having to precariously balance on top of these swords, and you've got uh, represented here from the past the rough rocks, and here in the future these beautiful flowers and soft green grass, etc. So it's a journey that will test you to get there, but it's worth it. Beautifully illustrated. Seven of Swords. Interesting in the black and white image here. The colour there. The Eight of Swords. It always kind of reminds me of Rapunzel. You know, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair to be rescued. The ladder is there, just needs to find a way out. Her face, her startled face. <laughs> it always makes me smile. Ten. Look how decorative this sword is. this owl balancing, perching on the edge of the sword. Has to be one of my favourite Ace of Dicks. I think this is such a beautiful, probably this and the new choice Tarot de Marseille, Ace of Discs. I think it's just gorgeous. I love the flowers as well, representing the garden, the earthiness of the suit. Look at that, three different cultures, three different walks of life, together celebrating, finding unity, commonality. Yeah, weighed himself down with all his possessions, but now he can't pick up the key to get out. So it's that whole analogy of you might accumulate it, but you can't take it with you. symbol here. Um, I don't see a bird. I was trying to look for a bird in the nine of discs. But these discs are the flowers from the garden that we're used to seeing. The ten of discs, the family home. I love that it's on this hill. These balls that they've been playing with. The page. I love how all of our queens are really kind of fuller figured. Oh wow, fox and a lamb. So, I'm not quite sure what that is. Is it Wu Wei and duality? Oops, I wasn't in the shot then. Wu Wei and duality. Let's have a little look at the book. Where have I put the book? There we go. I forgot to show this as well, didn't I? So this is this is the book, the Lunar Soul Tarot. So it is this hardback, which we're used to seeing now. It's beautiful and it's it's now full colour. So you get a little thumbnail. Um, you even get the same kind of banner that's on the card. You get a little quote and then the information about each card. So I want to have a look at, just make sure they're not at the beginning or something. I love this little book. 
Get your spreads at the back. Pink spreads. A few gentle tips, how to read the cards. Discs. I suppose they're at the end of the Major Arcana. Here we go. So we have information here as well. These are the exclusive cards. Um, to act in accordance with destiny, nothing is simpler, nothing is harder. So that's the Wu Wei. I hope I'm saying that right. When we exert all our strength and effort, do we achieve the most? When we demand that our views are correct, how many do we convince? Wow. And then for duality, the wind settles the seed of opposition at the zenith of self-assurance, and we turn and we grow. Observe the duality and know the interrelations. Quite hard to read in this light. I've only got a little, I've got no light. So if I spun this camera around, this, uh, this room is in complete darkness other than the lamp overhead. Uh, perspective defines all. Yeah, so there we go. I really like that. I like the addition of the two new cards. I think they're lovely and the artwork is really beautiful. Wow. So that is the Lunar Soul Tarot. Um, it's not called the second edition, but obviously it is a second edition um, from the one that was released in 2018. As you can see, stunningly beautiful. It's a nice thick deck. Um, I don't know if I focused on the back, but this whole deck represents balance beautifully. And even, even the backs, um, it's just rich, so rich in symbolism and diversity, representing balance, light and shadow, uh, polarity, you name it. It's all there. Um, the packaging and box design is absolutely gorgeous too. Thank you for watching everybody let me know your thoughts did you manage to get the 2018 version will you be getting this version um yeah i'll be interested in hearing your thoughts and until next time and have a great week i might not be on much this week i've got an extremely busy week but um i'll be with you in spirit and i'll be back at some point soon take care everyone go in peace namaste and blessed be